Anyways, so we're gonna go right into the fourth game in the series. It's going to be between Sephir Prime and two Apple Pies. It is going to be played, as you see, in MLG Metalopolis. And Sephir Prime plays for... I wonder who he plays for. Neither of these players are actually listed. I'll tell you after the game is done, their respective colleges. <coughs> so... Going back into the game, sorry guys, I am in shock that I don't know who these players play for. I should have researched that a little bit earlier. Anyway, Sephir Prime is going to be spawning at the left position in Metalopolis, while Two Apple Pies is going to be spawning cross position from his opponent at the right side of the map. Two Apple Pies is going to be our yellow Terran. While our light pink again, what? Sephir Prime is going to be our light pink Terran. So it is going to be activity, which probably means that this game is going to be kind of long too. That's good, because we love long games. Though, TVT is probably the most interesting mirror match to watch. TVT can get into extremely intense stand-ups, where neither player wants to advance simply because he knows that he will get murdered by his opponent's prime yeah, I mean prime I'm thinking about Sephir Prime now because both opponents I mean both players know that they'll get murdered by his opponent's tanks there we go, tanks that isn't a hard word to say, tanks, tanks, tanks <coughs> so we see Sephir Prime actually kind of delayed when compared to his opponent in when it comes to the refinery. Just about 24 gas, yes, 24 best spin behind his opponent. Anyways, we see Sephir Prime has finally scouted his opponent. He knows what his opponent is doing, and he should actually probably get that. Never mind, he doesn't. Oh wait, did he see that reactor? That is a tech lab. Never mind, did he see it? Anyways, been added on. Yes, he did. He should actually try to go back in order to be able to see. And yes, he does see the tech left. Is he going to survive with this SV? No, he doesn't. He passed for a little bit. Anyways, this marine has taken two apple pies SV. And in the units lost tab, we see both players have only lost that lone SV. So what is this? Both players actually doing the exact same build, I think. Never mind, one player decided to add a, a tech lab, while the other one decided to add a reactor. Now, Twapple Pies has produced his first Reaper. Interesting choice. He could have easily gotten an early steam, but no, he decided to get the Reaper first. While at the same time, Sephir Prime has decided to get the reactor and he's able to build a lot of marines, two at a time. Now, Sephir Prime actually does know that this Reaper is coming and has sealed off his entrance. That's a really nice choice. But, oh my god, is he moving out from his originally well-placed position? No, it, I wonder whether that Selenica Watchtower has vision of this ground. It probably doesn't, actually. That would be pretty balanced against Protoss, who have Blink. Anyways, we see this Reaper trying to take some units out. He gets only one Marine kill. And the Reaper is trying to juke these Marines, but the Marines are able to take it out. So that wasn't a good trade for two Apple Pies, simply because Reapers cost not only 50 Minerals, but also 50 Best Pain. No. Sephir Prime, I think he might just be going to scout, I don't see any expansions going up anytime soon. No, Sephir Prime finally decided to get the steam as we see and he added a, an, on another to barracks. 
and yeah, don't before Stephy Prime's on to barracks. His command center is being lifted off. I mean, orbital command. He finally decided to change it, I guess. Gets the scan. Stephy Prime gets the scan. He sees the expansion also up for his opponent. He should probably look into doing the same now. Especially because he has. I think. Does are 26 SCVs at this moment? Yes, indeed, those were 26 SCVs, right? Let's see, in the units tab, we see 27 SCVs. So I, was, I was about right. Anyway, so Sephir Prime taking his, the expansion too, and I believe both players think they're under pressure pretty soon. Well, maybe not Sephir Prime because he saw that his opponent took the expansion already, even before him, so he knows he's. Opponent to Apple Pies is going to be mostly defending. Now, I like this by two Apple Pies. Taking control of the Cell Naga Towers, you always want to have control of the map, and that gives a lot of vision, especially because these two paths in Megalopolis are the main paths anywhere around the map. Especially when you cannot spawn uh, close positions, simply because. This map is altered so that you cannot do it. And now Blizzard updated their ladder map so that you cannot spawn close positions in short maps like this, or small maps like this, I should say. So now we have SCVs meeting up with each other, and to Apple Pies is going to move this SCV if it doesn't move it out. There we go. So, Zephyr Prime should leave his SCV there. While to Apple Pies, oh my god, who's going to win this war? Who might win this war? Oh my god! It's, it's Sephir Prime who wins this war. So now Sephir Prime has control of the two Cell Naga Towers, and that's the most action we've seen so far after the Reaper was killed. So now both players are just sitting back and relaxing. Sephir Prime is not going to be even with his opponent when it comes to the Steam. Steam for both players is now done, really. I mean, this is about to finish for Safer Prime. And Top of Ice is just sitting back right now. No, Safer Prime, I think, has a better army composition simply because he has way many more uh, Marauders, which completely own Marines. The armies are about the same size, and actually, Top of Ice has much more supply than his opponent. And Safer Prime is about to be supply capped. He doesn't realize it. No, never mind. There we go. He did realize it. He, he had his supply just in time. No, Topple Pies, as you guys just saw, scanned, scanned his opponent. And I wonder if he saw this expansion going down right now. Let's check. Nope. He doesn't know that that expansion is going on. So he's. Topple Pies still thinks that this game is. Uh, two bases against two bases and I'm actually surprised not that much action we see top of ice with four marauders into medivac setting up to make his own drop and Cypher Prime being really active with his own scouting now these where, where, where is the medivac I think he unloaded them now we see oh my god this SCV is just going to die but he does see two Apple Pies moving out. And why is he sending another SCV to just die? He does see that two Apple Pies once again is moving out and he's sending another SCV. What? Is he just giving SCVs out for free? Okay, this SCV might just die because of this little marina. Now. If Twapo Pie, yeah, if Twapo Pie is engaged right now, he might just be able to win this game. Is he going to steam? He first steams one single marine. Oh, bad. Sephir Prime gets the first shots fired. And actually, steam goes down for him. But now, Twapo Pie begins running and begins to snare his army. What? He has lost more units than he should have by now. And I'm actually surprised that Two Apple Pies didn't decide to engage right there. He could have easily won that engagement. He had the better army, he had the 
better position, I, I would say. He just needed to spread his army a little bit. Ah. Who has the better concave? I think it is Trapo by simply because he has the upper ground. Oh no, but he loses the concave because he moved his units. I know, has to retreat for sure. Sephir Prime's army is actually much bigger than Tuapo Pies. And Tuapo Pies also lost a medivac. That's a pretty big deal considering the... No, he's done to two medivacs while his opponent has four medivacs. Now Sephir Prime is looking to engage Tuapo Pies from the best angle possible. This Marine is dead and now Sephir Prime has control of this Omega Watchtower. Or he would if he actually wanted to. He could do a doom drop, but he decides not to do a doom drop. Now we see the units loading back into the medivac. Two marines are left for their own deaths. And what happened to separate prime units? There we go. Now two upper places in a really uncomfortable position as he has to deal not only with a huge drop but also with the ground army if Sephir Prime decides to do a two-sided attack now the medivacs are spotted and at the same time Sephir Prime seems to be setting himself up just to go and kill Topo Pies. is he going to do a front attack too? no he doesn't he scans, I wonder what he scanned for and oh my god, neither of the medivacs goes down, but at the same time, Sephir Prime begins to move through the front. Two upper pies having to run. These barracks might just go down. The one gets cancelled, the other one might just have to get cancelled. Yeah, the second barracks gets cancelled. This third barracks might have to get cancelled too. And Sephir Prime could have actually taken on that army, but he decided to save his units, which is also really smart. Especially because he's. Never mind. Whoa, what happened to a uh, command center that he had? Did he get taken out? No, he took the high yield expansion. What? That's actually the smartest thing he could have done because he knows that two apple pies is contained. Let's go into the income tab. We see that Zephyr Prime is actually ahead by a lot in income. Look at that. He's overpowering two apple pies, especially when it comes to Vespen gas. And, oh my god, this expansion is undefended, it doesn't have any means of survival right now. This army is too big for it. And even the SMS could die, and... No, but the mules might die. No, they are allowed to live too. But what's this? Two upper pies decides to attack into the high yield expansion. But... In a different twist of fate. Sephir Prime is actually able to hold two upper pies. Advance and Sephir Prime at the same time is attacking. Topo Pies loses his third expansion. I mean, his other expansion. It was ready after he was probably just going to lift it off also to a high yield mineral. But Topo Pies is in a really bad situation. He's basically at half the supply of Sephir Prime. And is he just going to all in? This is not an army to take on this army. Yeah, this is definitely not the army to take on the other army. Especially because there is this army too. Down here for Sephir Prime. And it seems Trapple Pies might just do an all-in right now. I mean, yeah, he took out all of his main base SCVs. He begins moving out. Those SCVs get killed pretty easily. More SCVs coming to join, but they are stuck behind the main army. The main army gets killed. And it seems every Prime will be able to take this game as two Apple Pies is now basically on one third the supply of Sevri Prime. And two Apple Pies throws down the GG. And now, since I knew the results of the series, I'm gonna say that two Apple Pies plays for Brown University and Sevri Prime plays for New York University. No, two Apple Pies for some reason hasn't left the game, but. Yeah, I'll be surprised if Top of Pies doesn't lose this. Especially with this army coming, up, coming in. Is he going to try to survive? Oh my god, it seems he might be able to try. He's just going to try to survive. Bringing out the SCVs and Top of Pies leaves the game. So yeah, Top of Pies was Brown University's player. While the NYU player was Sephir Prime.
Now, that also means that the series is tied 2-2 right now. And that also means that we're going to go into our ace match pretty soon.